Dios estás tú, amor. The Jaguares are part of a rock and roll revolution taking place in Mexico. Lead singer Saul Hernandez says, until very recently, his country treated rockers like counterculture troublemakers. I think like 10 years ago, it was more difficult. And uh, we are a country, we, we protect a lot our culture and our old traditions. And when somebody came with long hair and tattoos and singing about breaking the way of thinking in the society, that's strange. But times they are a change and in Mexico, the country's shift towards democracy and globalism is reflected in its music. We've grown up with Janis Joplin, Rolling Stones, The Beatles, uh, The Doors, you know, all, all the rock and roll culture. So we try just to, to be ourselves, but also don't deny our, the other influences in English. The Jaguares played to a sold-out Anaheim Pond earlier this year. In fact, they're selling out concert halls all over the United States. But what's really amazing is that they succeeded largely without any radio support. And now they're nominated for three Latin Grammy Awards. It's difficult for us to believe that we are actually uh, crossing borders and language borders that are so marked especially here in the United States because we grew up in Mexico listening to music from all over the world and most of the times we didn't knew what they were saying but we loved the music and the music touched us so we think that it could happen the other way around. <laughs> 